Well, we have over 17,000 solar panels here on 21 acres of land on the airport property. And the, the plant is rated at five megawatts AC. So it can produce five megawatts AC in the middle of the day during the peak times. This system is directly connected to the mg &E distribution grid. This will serve our shared solar customers, the city of Middleton, and the Middleton Cross Plains Area School District. This site has a single access tracking system. What that means is that the panels will continue to move throughout the day to track to the sun. The trackers have motors underneath them that actually move the panels. They have their own power through solar, and they also have sensors that know where the sunlight is so they can track to the sun. That means that this plant will be more efficient and it also reduces the possibility of ever providing glare to any of the pilots. The collection system here, that's a series of cables, the red and white cables that are here, go over to the inverter. The inverter consists of uh, electronics that take the DC and quickly switch it to turn it into AC. The electronics ensure that we maintain good power quality. From the inverter, it goes into a typical transformer. The transformer stepped the voltage up to 13.8 kV, which is the voltage on our distribution system. This site uh, communicates with our MG&E EMS system. The EMS system is our energy management system. mg &E is able to see exactly what this is producing at any point in time. And sometime in the near future, our customers will be able to look online and see the amount of energy that this plant is producing. The sighting of a, a solar project on, on airport property is a really good pairing because you can see the profile of the solar facility is pretty low. You can't have tall structures near an airport, so it works really good from that perspective. You'll note that the panels have an anti-glare coating on them. That uh, helps to both improve the efficiency of the panel by collecting more light and, and directing that towards the photovoltaic cells, but it also reduces the glare that the pilots would see. The plantings that we put in here will preserve the land and in fact, in, in some ways, improve the, the soil conditions. So, if at some point in time we decided to remove the solar facility, say for different technology, the, the land would actually be in better condition than it was before we put the solar facility on it. I'm really excited about this project. It's the largest project that we've built so far. It's right in the Madison area. It's good to have the power right near with the customers that you're serving it with. There's less losses, it's more efficient that way. MG&E customers uh, have been asking for this type of energy. The MG&E employees are supportive of the project and our shareholders. It's a great project.